So to kind of break this down for you, when you make a plate, you want to have your protein portion as big as your palm of your hand. Your veggie portion, how much is that? Two what? Two scoops. Your low glycemic or your carbohydrate portion is how much? One scoop, and then on top of this, your fats are from your knuckle to the end of your thumb. And that's it. That's your plate. That's your plate. Now, the biggest challenge we get from people trying to come off of things like the grain is that the Bible does say we break bread. And, and we're so, I'm Italian. I mean, when I go home and I tell my family I'm not eating bread, they're like, what, are you kidding me? You're done, you're out of here. But here's what's happened is that all the bread on the planet today, all the bread that you read about in the Bible, it doesn't exist anymore. It's extinct. The actual grain of, of wheat has been hybrided out by the genetically modified companies. It used to be, believe it or not, there used to be uh, banks of seeds in, in, of all the places in the world where we stored all the seeds was in Iraq, and we lost them during the bombing of the war. So there is no more original wheat seeds. So one of the... One of the uh, challenges or one of the debates that people want to say was, well, they, they break bread in the Bible, so we should, drink, we, we should eat it. And I agree with that, but it's not here anymore. Our best bet is the Ezekiel bread. My best bet is the Ezekiel bread. If you don't like it, then, you know, find something else. But that works for me. Yes. Yeah, so what she asked is, what about the gluten-free bread? First of all, it tastes like cardboard to me. I mean, I just, but my wife does love it. The challenge with gluten-free bread is that in order for it to be palatable, it usually has a lot more sugar. And how much sugar for men? How much sugar for women? Our work is done. That's excellent. 